Hello there you guys, it is me, Random Josh, and I'm back again <laughs> with another Face Mask Friday video. Now I know this has been quite long overdue um, in terms of me actually making a video. I mean, if I'm being honest, I've made videos, I just have not edited and posted them due to many reasons um, which will probably come clear later at some point but let's actually get down to business and talk about the elephant in the room that is right here <laughs> so the amazing gorgeous people at indigo rose i say people it's tory basically <laughs> the amazing incomparable tory um has done it again and created a gorgeously looking new lash um, called Martini. So of course, I had to go and get my hands on this. Now I won't lie to you, I did order five pairs of Martini and also five pairs of Lotus. There are reasons for this, um, but I won't really be going too much into the reasoning behind ordering as many as I did. But trust me, there's a good reason for it. Anyway, let's open this up. Oh. Let me just move that out of the way. That's just the receipt. So of course, we've got all of our little pamphlets and details about um, the bloody good period. Um, foundation that Tory supports with the purchase of any Lotus lashes. And then of course we have here all of the different lashes. <laughs> oh, we also have the applicator as well. So I'm gonna just quickly touch on that first. Um, so she did actually do a special kind of like launch deal situation whereby the first 20 people who ordered a pair of martini lashes were given their own um, <laughs> lash applicators. You can purchase these separately if you wish to. I think they're like four pounds something, four pound fifty maybe. Um, but we do have this here. <gasps> oh my god, I love it. I'm gonna like have to do this over here just because I don't want to make too too much of a mess of all of the um, little bits. Just take the little thing off as well. And that was a really good idea, Josh. <laughs> Just blew all of the fluffs all over my bed. So this is now a bit of a mess. And it's all over my floor as well, great. Um, and it's not helping the fact that I've got my fan on and everything else on. Okay, let me, let me just ignore that for now. <laughs> but here it is. So we have here the gorgeous lash applicator with of course if it's going to focus the irb logo on it as well but yeah this is super super gorgeous i've never really used a lash applicator um so we will try and give that a go on camera live so i can actually give like a verdict because I, I just don't know how it's going to go to be completely polar honest with you um but we have those, which is Lush. So these, just your normal kind of box. It does look slightly different. I don't know whether this particular box is just different in general. Because it has more of like a yellow um, shine to it. I'm gonna try and show on camera. I don't know. So this one's Martini, this one's Lotus. But like, I don't know, it looks, there's a, there's a difference, okay? I don't <laughs> I don't know whether it is just no, it's de it's it's definitely the martini boxes are different, which is super cool. I love that. Love that kind of it's kind of like branching out a little bit different as well. Same principle design though. Amazing. But let's just crack these open. Oh. Get on into it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at 
Look at how amazing these look. There's so much volume and like they've got all the little individual spikes. I'm living for these. I just want to put them all over my face. Like they just look mad. But I love them. I love a good like full kind of lash. Do you know what I mean? Right, so I've just tried to clean some of that up. Um, it's still a little bit everywhere, but we're gonna work with it. Um, so I'm actually gonna just try my hand at applying these now. I'm very scared. <laughs> Partially because I don't want to break them. Um, and normally, when I do these, I apply the lash off camera so you don't have to witness how terrible I am at applying lashes because um, yeah it doesn't always go correct <laughs> let's just say that okay let me just sort these out a little bit just trying to make sure that they are all nice and in shape. Get our glue. Okay. Let's just let that dry for a second as well. Get my applicators and see if we can. Very nervous. I have got my mirror as well, just so I can actually see what I'm doing. Now I haven't got anything at all on my eyes, or my face for that matter. Um, we are completely nude, which is very intimidating. But we'll see if this helps in any way, shape or form. It probably will, to be honest, because it kind of means that I don't have to have my like hand right in my face, so I can actually see when it is all going on. I mean, damn, like, just whacking that on there. And, oh, I've it a little bit, but it's fine. Yeah, that's a bit It's not going to be the most perfect placement. Um, one, well, there's many reasons for that, but <laughs> normally I have like mascara on to like help marry it in. I mean, I've definitely left a very visible gap, but my goodness. Like, hello, <laughs> hi. <laughs> they are so full and they feel incredible. I think when I get like some mascara on as well, cause I'll probably pop a little bit on just to help marry them together. It will probably look a whole lot more normal. <laughs> and I say normal in like, you know, normal. Cause these are not designed to be everyday lashes and normal lashes. Um, they're obviously designed to be more going out lashes. Um, lashes to make a statement as such. I'm just gonna apply the other ones as well. 
well. Might as well give you the guys the full. So you can probably see how much I normally do struggle. Because the struggle is real. <laughs> I do have a habit of putting too much glue on. But that is normally just because I'm too nervous in case I don't put enough on and then they fall off. Um, but it just means that it takes a little bit longer to dry, basically. Make sure I've actually got a good, solid kind of grip on these as well. Oh, shit. That's better. Less of a gap on this one. I mean, I can still see the difference between my lashes and the thing, but again, that's where mascara really does kind of like come into play. Let me just make sure as well that they're all pushed on and in good contact with Mushkin. I mean, they look decent. And by what, what I mean by that is my application, not the actual lashes. Okay, let me just try and give it a little fan. That's what I love about these mirrors. <laughs> I use them as fans as well. Probably shouldn't because it's, you know, glass and shit, so that would probably just make a mess, but hey, we'll make it work. Lovely. So yeah, this is like what they'd kind of look like roughly without any like mascara or any like additions. It's just them on their own, in their own kind of glory, incredible length. They just change your kind of eyes and your face as well, which is so cool. But yeah, let's get a little bit of mascara on them bad boys. So this is my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, which is pretty much my go-to. I do love this mascara. I'm just gonna try and, without hopefully poking my eye out, coat my actual, natural lashes. And then what you can do is give them like a bit more of an aggressive pinch. And they should. I mean, I can still see them up close. But again, that's probably my application rather than anything else. Because like normally I do my application a different method. So I've gone with a very different strategy of applying these today just because i wanted to show you guys like how they would actually look on with like most application method we'll get the bottom ones a bit of a zhuzh as well why not always nice to give them a little bit of attention i mean they're just gorgeous they literally are just stunning. I mean, oh, 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 I'm done. <laughs> oh gosh, it's been so long since I've done all this. Anyway, my final kind of verdict on these is I am in love. Again, probably not for like an everyday general look, but like for real high glam, I'm going out, like you could probably get away with these for drag as well. Like I was even debating like getting some more to stack up into like a proper drag <sighs> lash just to see what would happen. Cause like they've got those spikes of intensity, which, which are just incredible. So they've definitely got the length, the full, the fullness, the volume, they tick all the boxes. What's, what's like wrong with them? Do you know what I mean? And they're six pounds. Six 
bone. Hello. <laughs> so, final verdict again. <laughs> I've already said final verdict, but would I recommend you going and giving these martini lashes a little try? 110%. They are incredible. Um, again, supporting small brands is like such a huge thing, especially with how things have been during the past year. Small brands have been, you know, struggling through and they've been continuing. So people like Tori at Indigo Rosé have been consistently providing us with some incredible, you know, lashes. And she doesn't just do lashes anymore. She also has, um, you can get glues, you can get like sets so that you kind of get the basics in there. But it is mainly the lashes, of course. And obviously the bad boy applicators as well. I love this. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to live without, you know, applying my lashes with one of these now. I'm going to have to use it all the time. Because going in by fingers, you know, you get right up in your eye and it's a bit like, oh god, I can't see. You're blocking your vision because your hand's right in your face. So this kind of like can help distance so you can actually see what you're doing. <laughs> Still a bit dodgy with applying my own lashes, but... I'm sure you guys at home are a lot better than I am. But anyway, like I say, um, the full ins and outs of everything in this video, including the lovely applicators, are going to be down below in the description. So if you would like to go and purchase yourself some martini lashes or any of the lashes, there's so many lashes to choose from now, it's insane. You've got ones for every kind of day of the week, basically. So definitely, definitely go and check out Indigo Rosé Beauty um, and to see what lashes are on stock. And also, I will leave Indigo Rosé's social media links down below. TikToks are beautiful. Make sure to check them out. She is incredible on TikTok and she is a fucking fierce bitch. So she, she has the stamp of the random Josh stamp of approval. That didn't make sense. Do you know what? I don't care. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching today. Um, fingers crossed I'll be back properly this time, but no promises. Um, and also, I know this is probably going to be the first video back up since I actually hit a thousand subscribers. Who would have thought? <laughs> I don't really know what I'm gonna do for that, but it's incredible. So thank you so, so much for bearing with me and sticking around despite my absolute horror of actually doing this. It really does mean the world to me and you guys are incredible, amazing people. So thank you so, so much again for staying tuned and I will see each and every one of you guys in the next video. Peace out, bitches!